here in LA, movie theaters are uh, going to open up soon. They will open them to half capacity, but some people don't even go to the movies anymore because some people spent their lockdown doing this. During quarantine, my husband built a video rental store in our basement. He decided he needed a project at the house to keep himself busy. Instead of refinishing our kitchen cabinets, he decided to build a video rental store. <laughs> and in, instead of getting divorced, that man, his name is Brian Hogan, and his wife Erin are joining us here tonight from their video store in the basement of their home in Des Moines, Iowa. Hi, Brian, and hi, Erin. Hello, Hello, sir. Thanks for being with us. I guess my first question is why? Uh, well, mainly because uh, all the stores were closing and I wasn't going to be able to visit them anymore. And uh, my daughter moved away from college, and I'm also just an insane person. Yeah. <laughs> you do, you have Wi Fi and you know about Netflix and that sort of thing, right? Absolutely. It's just, uh, it's not the same. It's not the same. You love this stuff. You love like VHS tapes. What else do you have? Blu rays, DVDs, that sort of thing? Yeah, laser discs, all of it. What is it about them that that is so appealing? Is it the fact that you could hold them and touch them and see them, or what? Yeah, I think it's tangible. You know, I don't think uh, flipping through f thumbnails on uh, you know streaming services has the has the exact appeal. It doesn't Aaron, to me anyway. Aaron, you are a very tolerant person, aren't you? <laughs> My kitchen cabinets still aren't refinished, Jimmy. So, you know, maybe someday he'll get to that project too. <laughs> What was the basement before? Was it empty? Um, no, I mean, it was full of movies, just very, you know, unorganized. I it see. was our stepdaughter's bedroom, and we, uh, he converted it. Oh. <laughs> that, does she know what she's, well, I'm sure she knows, yeah, that she's going to be, like, her new room is filled with Troop Beverly Hills or something like that. Yeah, so she sleeps in the action section. <laughs> Now, you do have an, I, I watched the video, you do have an act. Will you show us around the place? Yeah, okay, absolutely. Great. There is an action section. We didn't have an action section in our basement, but here you go. Look at so, this. Uh, we're entering comedy. Sorry, okay. lady. <laughs> yeah, so all of this right here uh -huh. will be, be our comedy section. You can get fantastic things like Howard the Duck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a hard one. Where do you put that one? I mean, that could also go in the superhero section, right? It could. It could. It's technically, uh, technically a Marvel film. Uh huh. And you, where did you get all this, this, this stuff, this video store stuff? Um, I've been collecting movies for you know twenty years or so, like thrift stores and and all that. But uh -huh. the shelving I got because our local video stores are closing. I see. And now, do you have customers at your video store? Uh, not yet. We're still, you know, we're still, we're still keeping it closed. Okay. All right. Um, here's, here's, a, here's a drama. Okay. Uh, Michael Douglas behind the candelabra. I don't oh know if you're yeah. Familiar with that one? Yeah. He was good in that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you got, I see, you got almost famous on the wall there. You got, oh, you got all sorts oh, yeah. of little items. Yeah. Wow, I can't also, believe you're, uh, you found a wife. I mean, I'm really surprised. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the most fun mental breakdowns I've ever seen. <laughs> What's your yeah. policy on rewinding there at the... Uh, I mean, I definitely, the kids are definitely doing chores if they don't rewind the tapes when they bring them back down to the basement. Oh, yeah. Are there movies that you have, like, a bunch of copies of, like they'd have at Blockbuster when you go there and there was something very popular? Yeah, I've cornered the market on Forrest Gump. I have at least 300 copies of it. Oh! <laughs> 300? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why? Well, it sounds like you need to buy another house. Why do you have 300 copies of Forrest Gump? So you don't have to. I see. I see. Do you have the 1987 Sylvester Stallone arm wrestling drama, Over the Top? I do have Over the Top. <laughs> do you know everyone you have? Uh, I have it pretty well cataloged in my head, but in case I don't, there's the, you know, I have it, uh, I have it like in a spreadsheet. Aaron, do you and Brian ever just stand there in the store for 45 minutes arguing over what you should watch like, <laughs> like we used to in the old days? Absolutely. 
have very different tastes in movies. I see. Okay. And is there an adult section? Yeah, the adult section's actually right here. Oh, behind, behind the counter. So you have to you have to ask for it. I see. <laughs> I'll slip it across the table in a in a brown paper sack. <laughs> and how strict are you when it comes to late fees? Or is that a thing there? Late fees are incredibly high. That might be why we don't have any customers yet. I see. <laughs> you have all the setup. You got everything. Boy, that is something else. Do people go nuts when they come down there and you show them around? Uh, yeah. I think. I mean, most people that I know already know that I'm crazy. So. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> All right. But great. I got some here. I want to show you this too. We what? just added this just for you recently. Oh, there's me. Uh huh. Oh, I see. You've got my film library there. Oh, I have bad news for you, Brian. That movie, Like Mike, that you just passed by, I got cut out of that. I was not in I. Yeah, yeah, they told me I was going to be in it, and then I shot it, and then I took my kids to see it, and they're like, Where were you, Dad? Yeah. You need to edit that IMDb, but I will tell you that you're my favorite Batman, so. Oh, th oh thank you very much. I, I take great pleasure in being Batman. <laughs> All right. Well, I feel like you're missing one thing down there. We have a special gift for you. Guillermo's going to bring it in now, and we're going to send this to you in the video bunker. This is a popcorn machine, and uh, you can use it to make awesome. popcorn, and hopefully it'll make it smell less like a basement down there. <laughs> Absolutely, thanks. Well, thanks, Brian and Aaron. I appreciate you showing us around your basement. And uh, I thanks for being with us. Guillermo, you're not supposed yeah. to eat their popcorn. That's theirs. Sorry. All right, that's Brian and Aaron. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.